Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Indigo Hail Repair. Just got a new tool today. This is Sergio Red Cold Glue and Matt Boyette's Cold Snap Hammer to use in conjunction with it. And I got a hail car I'm working on today and it's got about 39 dents in the quarter panel and I'm gonna attempt to fix all of them without tooling anything, just using the cold glue. There's a few tricks and tips that I learned. So I'm just gonna kind of share with you what I've figured out uh, in hopes that it makes you a better dent technician and saves you time and money. Let's get it. So this is the truck bed I'm working on today. There's 39 dents on here and they range from nickel dime quarter. There's a couple oversize on there. Um, you can see they're all pretty shallow, nothing too sharp. There's a oversize there above the fuel door. And uh, here's the panel from the back. So first thing I do is I, you want a heat source when you're using cold glue. So I like the Milwaukee heat gun. It's battery powered, quick and easy. Now I was just heating the glue up a little bit to make it a little more pliable. Now I'm gonna heat the panel. And uh, it's real important with cold glue to kind of get it a little warm. Some guys will flash the panel with a torch, but I prefer using a, just a heat gun. So you can see there that um, that one didn't pull quite as well. So uh, I'm heating the panel up and the glue. The reason why I'm heating the glue up briefly is because it's cold in this shop and uh, the glue is just real it's, you want it real like a gummy consistency but not too hot and you definitely don't want it too cold or it won't pull if it's too cold so going to town uh, just making a real quick pass whenever i cold glue i just want to do one quick pass down the panel and then clean the panel and see what i got so the cold glue just comes back off uh, just kind of stick it to it to uh, get any residual off the car like i'm doing here now this glue got a little too hot. You can see it's real gummy right here and it's just staying stuck to the car. It's just making a big old mess. Just like chewing gum would, it's the same consistency. I've gotten it too hot is what's happened. So definitely don't want to get it too hot. And I wouldn't even recommend heating the glue unless you're in cold temperatures. So got the door open in the shop. Just gonna let it cool down a little bit and clean the panel back off. So this is what our first pass, or my first pass looked like. You can see a lot of the nickels and dimes came out and the other ones just kind of shallowed up. So you can see a couple, uh, you can see the ripples, it's not, definitely not perfect. So on my second pass, I'm just gonna heat up some of the, um, some of the ones that need to be pulled again. You know, having the circles off and having it cleaned off really kind of shows me a little bit better what I'm working with you know, after I've done the first pass. So just yanking some of these kind of bigger dents, and then I'm gonna make a pass with my blending hammer, blending out everything on the panel. So just one or two more, gonna finish up real quick, and then I'm gonna get to blending. This is what it looks like after uh, I kind of went back at it, at some of those bigger dents. You can see they all shallowed up. Probably most of those are pretty good to blend. That, that I got the, uh, the glue a little too hot once again and it just got too gummy on me so I'm gonna clean that off and this is Ryan Woodman the owner of Woodman Collision say hi everybody Ryan and his lovely assistant Huda if you want to see more of them you can visit them at Woodman Collision so here I am gonna go through blend this panel out real quick uh, just not gonna make it perfect I just want to make one quick pass with my blending hammer and see what I got. So you can see it's pretty good. You know, some guys would probably just turn the light off and, and leave that, but you know, I, I'm aiming for perfection. So I'm gonna go back, uh, make one more pass with the cold glue um, and see what happens. You know, some of these dents, especially up at the top where it's kind of rolled over, a little harder to pull out and uh, I'm just gonna hit some of the bigger ones that I feel save me some time when I'm blending with my hammer and once again I always flash the panel with a heat gun uh, heating the glue isn't really necessary and that's what it looks like you can see some of those even pulled high that was uh, that oversized one that I pulled out so one up at the top didn't quite get all the way but I think most of the stuff I can blend so I'm gonna go back with my second pass with a blending hammer just blending everything back down. You can see it, it looks pretty, pretty good right now. I uh, haven't tooled any one of these dents. This has all just been cold glue and blending hammer. So uh, if you'd like to see more videos, just uh, you can check this channel out. Here's some of the websites 
uh, with the um, with cold glue, the Sergio cold glue and Matt's uh, slide hammer.